Hey everyone. So I got some Derwent Inktense pencils earlier in the month and they're really interesting pencils. Um, it has like a pigment. I guess it's wax. I'm not really sure. It has to be kind of like it's ink when you add water. So I'm not really sure what they make this out of. Um, but what you get out of it the pencil pigment, pigment, sorry, um, is ink when you add water. And you can probably guess from the name, it's a, they give off very bold, exciting colors. So if you're going to want to go for like a really light pastel color, then these pencils probably aren't the right ones for you. Um, you can use them without water, but the water's half the fun. So I laid down a little bit of color and I'm just going to add some water with my pencil aquash. I think that's what it's called. Uh, water pen. And I really like this pen because it gives you a lot of control and it's a fine point. So it'll probably be good for little details in books. Um, so you can see how like really bright that is so that's really neat pencil um, I tried a little bit of blending here with a really dark blue and then a, the next level blue and then kind of made it lighter with the water um, but they're really cool pencils and this is kind of like I'm cleaning my pen I'll rub it on there um, this is especially important um, if you're going from a darker color to a lighter color when you're blending and you're starting to get to that lighter color, it kind of just wipe your brush so that you don't mix it into the portion of the picture that you want it to be the lighter color. Um, so I took a chance and tried blending in a, in a better book. I practiced in some cheaper coloring books that I had, but... Um, the paper buckled really bad and it just doesn't look very good. Uh, so I figured I would just take the leap of faith and test it in one of Johanna's books. And so I did it in one of my husband's books <laughs> so that I didn't ruin mine. Um, just in case this went south and bled through or pilled up the paper or whatever. But as you can see, this was with multiple layers of water and it didn't even buckle. There's no pilling of the paper. Um, it didn't bleed through, which was what I thought it would do since um, it's ink, uh, but it actually worked really well. The only thing that I came to find was um, it's definitely gonna be hard to stay in the lines, um, especially with how thin the detail some of the details are um so you'll probably this is an extra fine point brush too so you can see how fine tipped that is I don't know if there's a smaller brush that I'm going to be able to find that I'll be able to have more control to stay in the lines um definitely for larger spaces or even if you're going to use some of the details as a bigger portion so like all of this would be like one color and not just one individual detail. Um, but let's color a few more feathers, just get a little bit of practice in and hopefully it turns out good, better than my practice ones. And it'll give you guys more confidence to use these in your books. Um, I don't want to deter you because of the whole detail thing but it's not an easy task staying in the lines. Um, I'm trying better with my control, but we'll see. So, all right, let's start. So I'm gonna take my red and I'm gonna lay that down first as my darker color. They're very soft pencil. And they're nice to use. I don't think I would ever use them without the water though. Um, be just because they're, they, the softness almost reminds me of Prismas. 
and I don't like how it leaves so much white space behind. You would have to really layer with these to get a really solid color and not have any white left behind. Alright, I'm going to lighten up about there. And then I'm going to start adding my orange. I'm going to layer that a little bit on top of the red so that's an easier transition. And I'm using medium pressure. I'm not pushing down too hard. And I don't lighten up until the very top to where I'm barely putting down any color. So lay it down hard on the red. And then medium pressure. And then very light pressure. And then you go in with your yellow. And again, heavy on top of some of the orange. Medium light pressure at the very tip top. Now I'm noticing that these pencils do crumb a little bit. Um, they leave behind a little bit of dust. And when you wipe it, sometimes it does leave some residue on the page. Um, so just be careful. Um, blow it off if you can or use one of those um, feather duster brushes to sweep it off. Okay, so now we go in with our water brush. Now, I'm going to start from the lighter color because lesson learned, don't start from the dark and work your way up because you'll, you'll drag the dark color into your lighter color and then the lighter color will be no more. You won't have that light color and you can't get rid of that to fix it because it's permanent ink. Okay, so I'll start from the yellow. I just kind of move that down. And then work our way into the red. And then just kind of clean off your brush on a piece of paper. And I wanted a little bit more orange up here, so. So they transition pretty well when you blend. You just have to learn where to stop and where to start and to make sure you always clean off your brush. Otherwise, you're not going to get that smooth of a transition when you blend. And you may or may not have noticed from the video, I haven't squeezed my pen once. You don't need a lot of water because that's when you're going to run into some trouble with um, buckling and pulling up your paper. So it looks a little bit shiny because it's wet, but you can kind of see how smooth it looks. It's really smooth in person like a really smooth transition. So the few tips I have is don't use a lot of water. Um, maybe use these for larger spaces or if you don't mind not doing individual details and definitely if you want a bold color. I hope you enjoy these pencils as much as I do and I hope you enjoyed my video. Have a great day everyone.